At the moment, I have 47 implants in my body and I plan to get more. A lot of the implants I have in my body are microchips. I have 32 in me right now. I have microchips everywhere. I have one in my calf, I have them in my hands, I have them in my forearms, I have them in my ears, I have them in my shoulder, I have them in my chest. I have a microchip in my right thigh actually that when scanned with a phone, it calls 911. I've also implanted 14 magnets and a microcomputer. I'm a magician and what a lot of people might not realize is a lot of magic is done with magnets. I have them all in my hands, I have them all down my arms. I have a magnet here in my tragus that lets me have secret hearing, which is really cool. I can hold my makeup compact. I can hold it there. I can hold it there. I especially love the magnets because I like to walk around and feel the electromagnetic fields vibrating in my body. Some people think this is really weird, but I feel like I have superpowers. I've had a few implants that have given me some problems. The first version of the computer that I had in my thigh cracked and I wasn't aware. And in its cracking of the case, it allowed my body fluids and the computer to all mix in together and tons of other heavy metals. So yeah, there's been some concerns. I really feel like microchipping could be the wave of the future. I think that as people learn more about microchips and see all the conveniences they can bring into their lives, I think more and more people will be more comfortable with it. And I can't imagine my life without it. So I don't think I'm gonna stop anytime soon. The thing that really jumped out at me was this secret hearing. Mm -hmm. uh, so what does that mean? Well, I have a magnet in my ear inside a glass case. So it's kind of like a chip, but it's a magnet inside glass. And if I wear a hairpiece that I've made that I use when I'm performing magic, it has a Bluetooth receiver in it with a copper wire induction coil, or I don't know if it's inducing, but it's basically vibrating the magnet in my ear the same way the magnet in your speakers work. So I remove all the other part of the speakers and with this copper wire receiving the Bluetooth from my phone, I can hear inside my head what nobody else can hear. They're kind of like built-in earphones. Really? Yeah. Okay. So you have 47 I do. implants. Yeah, quite a bit. So do you weigh more? I mean, does it... <laughs> I hope not. These things don't weigh a lot. No, they don't weigh a lot. I have probably the largest and heaviest ones are the big magnets. You can kind of see them here under my arm. Oh, yeah, okay. You can unlock your medicine cabinet with your right hand, mm -hmm. and you have two circular magnets that you chose to pick up metal objects. A lot of metal uh, objects. Yeah. Do you ever pick up things you don't mean to? I do, every time I eat at Cheesecake Factory. <laughs> Cheesecake Factory's cutlery just comes to me, like <laughs> when it just attaches, and then it'll attach and swing onto the floor and crash, and I always have to apologize for the behavior. Let's take a, a deeper look at this. So we've got a table here. Let's see what these magnets do here. Okay. So um, these bobby pins, like, so whenever I'm doing my hair and I drop bobby pins on the floor, it's really handy to have these. It makes it easy for me to get my magnets up, or my bobby pins, sorry, up off the floor. Yeah. It's a bit of a pain in the butt, though, when you're trying to get stuff off your hands, when you have magnets on both hands. So yeah, I purposely I so. only I put one so. over here. Okay. So I can always remove them from the other hand. Oh, okay. Well, you've still got about 100 of them there. <laughs> okay. okay. Like I said, the heavy cutlery at Cheesecake Factory can swing it um, much like this. Don't worry, I won't hurt you. Oh, this is better if it's right on the skin. Hold on. I'm like a human clock. Yeah. Not actually. <laughs> <laughs> My clock needs repairs. And then what do you do with the phone? I can scan things. So for example, if I were to have a chip in my heart, scan the chip, it should show Oh, you wow. Thing. Yeah, no, it's doing it. No. This is the day I married my best friend. This shows you my wedding video. And you can reprogram the chips over and over and over again to do things. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.